Welcome and welcome back to my book channel. My name is Lauren from Lady Lauren Explorer and there is Prince <laughs> He was just laying down. Now he just has to like, you know, all in my video, but at least we get a, a view of him. Today I am talking about <laughs> a book that I read the first one of last year, I want to say. Uh, where is it? I think I put it up over there. It was not over there. But it's Jessie's Girl by uh, Mana Merlin. I have read the second book in the series, which is Juan Carlos Play, which is Jessie's younger brother. This is a age gap romance, uh, fake dating, and it's a novella. Short, sweet, to the point, and it's good. I I needed something to <laughs> I don't know where when I'm going to put this video up in my Magnolia Parks universe uh reviews but I needed something to cleanse my palate after that journey that I was on with Magnolia's universe and this was what I just needed I needed something quick steamy funny and just possessive <laughs> did i say steamy because i didn't seem because like magnolia's universe was not steamy at all but the plot got me but that's beside the point i'm talking about juan carlos <laughs> this is a age gap our heroine she is i think 32 or 31 like one of those and carlos is 23 she has a son he is a rugby player and she is the physical therapist or the basically the person that takes care of all of the injuries and makes sure that the players can actually play in the game she's actually that person but if you remember in jesse's girl he was in a very weird relationship with jesse's love interest's best friend and that starts us off back at that time. It starts us off actually when he is in jail for beating up Jesse's love interest's ex-boyfriend. He gets out and the his love interest, which is the best friend of Jesse's girl, is making it difficult for him to be in a relationship with her she wants he wants a relationship and she's not willing to give it to him because of like family drama she says but she, she's not giving out details for him to understand like why he can't claim her why do we have to like sneak around why do you say you don't want me but then at night you come to me talking about let's do this like you only want sex and i want a relationship i want to i want you and finally he just sticks up for himself and he's like i'm i'm done like i don't i don't need you in my life for this and three years later he is working on himself he finds out that his first love is getting engaged and it, it kind of hurts him. And that's when like we finally get him and Ray, who's our love interest for him, interacting. And she tells him, why do you smile so sadly? And that sparks something. <laughs> they have a good banter. This is like a really good banter intention field story i really did love how well and instant their connection was because this was the instant, the instant connection it was fake because he needed someone because he was going to a dinner with his brother his brother's fiance his father which he has a very rough relationship with his father his ex-love interest and her fiance and he's just the odd one out and he's always felt like the odd one out. But who happens to actually be at the restaurant at the same time as him? Ray. He starts talking to her and he has into her in a fake relationship where she's okay with it. She's gung-ho about it. They tease each other. It's just like really, ah, 
the tension, the sexual tension in here was good. It was really, really good. <laughs> it's a short book, but it was just like, mm, how he was doing her, like, <laughs> Um, he's very risque with the pictures on his Instagram, and so she's okay with being risque too. It's just, and then her son is the number one fan of Carlos, and it's just like perfect. There is, it's like not drama, drama, but like his first love, I think her name is Divya. She he just calls her Vinia. It, she does come back into his life. And it's not like drama, but she wants to talk to him. He doesn't want to talk to her. It's just like things like that. And then there is the um, ex-boyfriend of Ray, the, the, the baby daddy. <laughs> he has some qualities of himself that I don't like. And that's why he's an ex. Mm. But she also has some trauma, too, from, like, her past relationship, her past uh, very toxic and abusive relationship, where she, you can see that she's grown because of that. And it's it's just really good. I like this. This was really good. I gave it a 4.5 because I really wanted it to be longer. I understand it's a novella. Like, I, that's the whole point of a novella. It's just short. I just wish it was longer. And... We kind of assume this is a happy ever after, but to me, it just seems like a happy for now because I didn't get that conclusive conclusion. You know what I mean? But I'm okay. It was it was really good, and I, I love that. I love that. I love that. So yeah, I that's all I can say. Woo. Okay, but yeah, that was a great palate cleanser from the Magnolia universe because I tell you, my brain was just, the wheels of what was going on in that universe was just, ugh, I was on a roller coaster and I just needed something to give me life again. <laughs> give me steam, numbing steam. <laughs> but my name is Lauren. I post a video Tuesdays and Thursdays and sometimes Sundays, so please be subscribed so you can get notified when I've uploaded, and I hope to see you in my next video. I hope you have a good day, evening, night, wherever you are in the world, and whenever you're watching this. But, um, bye! <laughs>